What is going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we have a very special video that I'm super excited for. So we're in Call to Arms Gates of Heck here and I've got 100 artillery pieces poised and ready to fight 333 Soviet soldiers that are going to be charging these artillery pieces. It's going to be absolutely nuts, and I'm pretty sure that the Soviet soldiers are going to fail. I, I can almost guarantee it, but if they do fail, we're going to uh, do a number of things such as give them vehicles, maybe increase their health, etc, etc, to try and make them succeed in taking over these 100 artillery pieces that are defending this massive field here. It should be really, really cool. So if you guys enjoy these videos, please be sure to hit that like button. Let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours if possible. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment on down below if you'd like to see some other crazy things. And, and what weapon would you like me to see do, do this with? Like maybe MG42s or something like that could be kind of cool. Let me know in the comment section below. Either way, guys, let's get into it. Hey gamers, real quick, I want to just take a second of your time to tell you about Daily Productions, my second channel, where I used to post a lot more Let's Play content, but more recently I started uploading really high quality edited videos with funny moments montages, as well as awesome storylines and things like that. Right now, the two videos up there that I am most proud of are some totally accurate Battlegrounds gameplay with me and Plastic Scott that was edited into a funny moments montage, as well as an Arma 3 Star Wars. Wars mod operation with the 187th, but I will be adding so much more content up to that channel in the near future. I'd really appreciate it if you went and checked out those videos and started watching over there as well if you're looking for some new places for content. Either way, guys, hope you have a great day. On with the rest of this video. Alrighty then gamers, let's go in slow mode and press start here and watch these fireworks go off as we have this one third of a thousand Soviets begin their charge on forward here. Alright, so the artillery pieces are chilling right here. It might be a while till they actually spot the Soviets. Well, actually, they're coming up over this ridge, so I mean, they, they probably have spotted them already. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of movement going on here. A little, little bit, no, no fire. Uh, coming out of these things but now they begin and oh my oh my god yikes holy cow wow oh lord oh this is apocalyptic oh my god yeah i do not think that the soviets were anticipating this much fire coming out towards them, dude. This is actually unreal amounts of fire. Wow. This entire ridge has just exploded. And they're just ragdolling everywhere. What on earth? This is unreal, dude. This is like god levels of artillery fire coming out from these things. This is insane! Ooh! Actually, a lot of the artillery ended up friendly firing the first line of German artillery over here. Uh, so we do have a number of German casualties through that. Uh, we do have the Soviets coming forward and actually uh, managing to get a few shots off on uh, some of these Germans over here. And actually, some of the artillery crew is kind of roaming around as the explosion sort of knocked them off kilter there. And they're trying to get back onto these things. They're taking a few hits from the uh, Russian soldiers as the Russians are trying to, like, <laughs> recuperate a little bit here. But they're just still getting peppered with incoming artillery fire. It is a miracle anyone is still standing. We got one trooper here. Oh, they're getting flipped around and diced by more incoming artillery fire. Wowza, this is a, this is a lot. All right, there's like five uh, Russians here. Why don't we go ahead and try this again with more weapons for the Ashkis. All right, this time I gave the Russians just 500 health, actually. We're gonna wait to give them more armor or anything like that until we try this out. So normally they have a base of 100 health. This time I've given them 500 health to see if that just helps at all. So here we go, uh, the massive Russian charge happening yet again. They're getting to the hill and then they are just, again, getting rocked by just 
apocalyptic levels of artillery. That's the only adjective I can use to describe this. It is brutality at its finest. This is crazy. Uh, even the German guns, man, are just getting pounded by their own artillery. That's the level to which we're dealing with right now. Uh, let's check out the dead. A lot of these guys uh, might be unconscious, but no, most of them are, in fact, just dead. Um, even with 500 health, uh, you know, a few of them are getting back up after getting knocked down. But for the most part, you know, on their second hit, or if it's a direct hit, they're still dying under the weight of this incoming barrage from the Germans. <laughs> it's just unreal, dude. Absolute absurdity. At, at least the Russians seem to be a little bit more resilient with their added health, but even still, 100 German artillery pieces is just absolutely rocking these guys to the point where, uh, you know, you can't even see them through the smoke for the most part. This is just unreal. All right, most of the Russians are dead again. Why don't we go ahead and get them some armor and see if they can actually defeat this German line here. It, it's just insane. Actually, the first line does appear to be dead, so at least the Russians did make some progress. Uh, but the second line, of course, is still very much so alive here. Look at this thing go. Jeez Louise. All right, let's get the Russians some tanks, boys. All right, gamers, for our final battle with this absurd 100 artillery pieces, we've got our standard infantry here, as well as a number of T-34-76s and BA-6s for the Russians. So they're getting a little bit of vehicle power, some armor in there to try and help them out against this German defense. So let's, let's just see how this one works out. It, it might go a little bit better. I, I have my hopes. There are hopes there. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think the BA-6s, they're bringing you speed to the table. They might not necessarily be able to survive any sort of uh, artillery barrage, but they might be able to outrun an artillery barrage. Uh, here comes the artillery right now. Now, my hopes for the T-3476s is that they can survive artillery barrages. I know that they can be destroyed by this level of artillery. It does pack a heavy enough punch to actually penetrate their armor, but I am definitely hoping that, uh, you know, they can survive a few shots before they go down. Already, we got some of the German soldiers being blown up by the BA-6s, so that's actually good. We're, we're seeing a little bit of progress made on this battlefield thus far. Not, not too bad. Look at all of these Germans. It's so chaotic in here. Half of them don't even know what to do. It's just... This is just a little too much for their little hearts. It's just a lot, guys. It is just a lot. By the way, the Germans do, or er, sorry, these aren't Germans. These are Russians. Did I call them Germans? My beat, my beat, boys. I, that kind of inaccuracy does not slide on the Daily Tactics YouTube channel. Um, no, but these Russians over here do still have that 500 health as well. I, I really don't think it makes that much of a difference, though. All right, a lot of these BA-6s did manage to get pretty far forward, but at the end of the day, they did still get blown up there, um, so they are dead, but we do have the T-34-76s up here that are managing to survive, and it looks like the first line of uh, German artillery is just about getting completely destroyed here. They're getting their salads tossed. That's one thing I love about Call to Arms Gates of Heck, is the fact that they have ragdoll animations for when soldiers get blown up. It's just so funny to watch. <laughs> they just get absolutely tossed around like a sack of potatoes. Like an absolute sack of potatoes. All right, lots of uh, Russian Lushki machine gunners up here firing away. Actually, a lot of the Russian tanks are going off to this left side over here. That might be smart because it takes longer for the German artillery uh, to poise and, and move their guns over here to uh, strike out at them. So that, uh, that's not too bad. We're seeing the Russians make some plays here. And look at this. They're actually coming to the second line. They're, they're at the second line, boys. Now this is big, this is big news right here. All right, let's bump it up a speed. The second line of artillery is now having to stand against the Russian assault here. Beautiful, you'll love to see it. Oh, these Russians are just full sending it, aren't they? They're just going in. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You guys are maniacs. Look at them go. They're, they don't even care to, to fire at the, the Germans. They're just going. Okay, now, now they're stopping to fire. I, I don't know exactly what these guys are up to. <laughs> they are, well, now they're starting to get hit by artillery, which is so they're dead. 
Yeah, oh, not all of them, not all of them. We got a no Mosin Nagant boy over here, and he is fighting over Very nice. Keep it up, comrade. Very good. Oh, we got more Russians up here. Well, why are you ignoring this entire artillery crew right there? What? What are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. Well, these two are just terrible shots. <laughs> look, look at them miss each other. This is a fascinating display. <laughs> there we go. We finally do have ourselves a nice little dubsky there uh, against that Russian soldier. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. <laughs> Alright, the Russian soldiers back here are coming into this first line of trenches right here. Um, and, and we do have some BA-6s left alive. A, a couple. Not too many. There's a lot of T-34-76s though. That's, that's something. Alright, should we bump it up another speed here? Full speed ahead. Baby. Okay. Wow, there's just so many explosions still. Holy cow. Even some of these uh, artillery pieces way back here are getting damaged or destroyed by incoming Russian fire. So it seems like vehicles really did make the difference here. But you got to remember, there's still so many, so many vehicles back here. Wait, wait a second. Oh, shoot. There are BA-6s left alive. They're just all off to the side over here. Oh, that's why so many of these German artillery pieces are facing this way now. They were they were striking out against these BA-6s. I didn't realize the BA-6s made it that far forward. Man, I wish I was paying more attention to that. That would have been cool to see, but it, it does seem like they all got destroyed as of now. Artillery striking some more of these T-34-76s. Oh, yeah, that's engine damage. That's, that's crew, concussed, dead, whatever. They're all dead right there. That's, that's no... No good right there. No good at all, comrade. Okay. Um, oh, there's still a lot of vehicles left alive. We might be seeing a Dubsky here. Ooh, that PA-6 was like cruising and then just got a full hit right there from the German artillery. A full hit to the face. Yikes. Okay, this next line of uh, German artillery also being destroyed. And even the line after that almost completely kaputs. Almost completely kaput, so we still have one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven lines of artillery left. What? Okay, that's way more than I thought. Okay, these guys are still doing pretty well. I, I thought the Russians were making a big impact on the battlefield here, but uh, it does not seem like they are. I mean, they are, but simultaneously, there's still a lot of Germans left alive, boys. Still a heck of a lot of Germans left alive on the battlefield. That's a lot of firepower. That's a lot of firepower, boys. Okay, it seems like the majority of the living Russians are now just infantry soldiers. Actually, not a lot of infantry died way back here in that initial barrage. I guess it was sort of attacking the BA-6s there, not so much the infantry this time around. So now the infantry is uh, actually standing a fighting chance, and I actually like their odds here because they're so scattered. You know, when they start out, that uh, artillery is just got such easy shots on them, you know? The, the artillery could hit them and, and take out 30 men at once, but now most of these men are sort of scattered to the wind and they're able to assault um, and, and spread out a little bit more, which makes actually hitting them a lot more difficult for uh, the German artillery pieces. So this is uh, not too shabalabby here, although some of the uh, German artillery soldiers have popped off their guns and are now actually firing uh, from ground position positions with their MP40s here, so they might actually get into some decent combat here and take out a number of these Russians that are coming on forward. Not, not too shabby. Look at this. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, they're getting some shots out there. They're doing some damage. They are just artillery crewmen, so they're not exactly the most elite of soldiers. You know, they're <laughs> they're sort of made to, well, man artillery. <laughs> but. Hey, they're get, they're getting a couple of Russian kills. You know, this is this is a you know eventful battle still for those guys. They're not out of this thing just yet. All right, more Russians continuing to move on forward here. They're basically crossing a deserted, brutal no man's land here. This is this is a horrific battlefield. I gotta use this map more often because this map is actually kind of sick. What it actually is is a training map. It, it's used for the training mission of Gates of Heck, but. Um, it, you know, it's just a wide open field over here. There's also some cool, also like firing ranges over this way. Um, yeah, massive firing range. There's like a barracks somewhere. Yeah, there's the barracks right there. Um, so you know, there's a there's a lot of stuff going on around here uh, on this battlefield as well. So there's just a lot you could do with this map. I, I really actually like that quite a bit. 
Alright, let's check out some firing rounds from some of this artillery. I think that'll be fun to see. Just see them start pounding against these Russian soldiers. Yeah! Let loose some of these cannons, baby! Give them heck! Give them gates of heck, boys! This battle has certainly lasted a lot longer than the other few. Uh, so we did something right, that's for sure. The artillery would just target, like, right around this big area right here. They would get a lot of kills, but it seems like the artillery is instead choosing to fire at the closest Russian soldiers. So instead, they're sort of taking them out one at a time instead of being able to take out droves of them. But it does look like now that some of those soldiers in the front died, they are taking out some of these soldiers further back here. There's a lot of fire being uh, thrown at someone over here. There must be a German crew left alive somewhere. Ah, here's a soldier. Anyone else? Can't find many else, so I don't know exactly who those Russians are actually firing at. Ooh, that shot could have been so good, but just barely missed. All right, let's 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 just watch this group of Russians and watch some of this artillery fire come down upon them. This, this is purely just like a, a for fun. Let's just see how chaotic and apocalyptic this battle could get type of video. This is like cruel to the AI. This is AI cruelty right here is what we're seeing. All right, I don't know where most of these... Oh, most of the artillery pieces are firing over this way. It's up to dead tanks. Why? There's one alive tank back here, but it's tracked. This one's not really going anywhere. Oh, this one's also alive and tracked. So there's a couple of uh, tanks way back there. Uh, but most of the artillery is actually firing off to the corner over there. Very, very bizarre choice when there's so many soldiers over here still alive. Oh, that was a meaty shot right there. Ooh, that pulverized many a Russian. This guy was lucky enough to be in that crater <laughs> at the time to survive that. All right, why don't we go to fast speed here and just uh, allow the um, the cannons to continue to fire. It seems like the Russians are just scared out of their minds. <laughs> Every few strikes, they just halt their progress and, and hide again. A oh, few are getting far. Never mind, they're dead. <laughs> gonna say they're getting kind of far up there and then they just got pulverized nothing is left of those boys nothing at all oh my god this is brutality here you just hate to see it oh but you also love to see it oh that was a meaty shot <laughs> i think it's safe to say that the russians are not winning this battle let's see how many artillery lines do we still have this one's kind of pulverized actually at this point uh, so we still have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so five out of the ten artillery lines for the Germans are still alive, which is actually a lot. That is a, a hefty amount. Um, there's really barely any Russians still alive. There's like a few soldiers back here who are somehow managing to survive. It could be their 500 health. It could be... Uh, the Russian steel that they're made of. It, it could be the fact that they're just a little bit out of range of primary fire from these artillery cannons. I don't know what it could be, but these guys are somehow survivors, baby. They're somehow still... Oh, oh wow, that was a big hit. <laughs> they're somehow still kicking it. Oh my god, they're just getting pulverized. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Oh! One of the T-3476s repaired itself. It's moving off over this way. Look at this boy go. Look at him engine that could oh my god he's still alive oh he's still alive oh 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 they're tracked they do be tracked now oh my god yeah engine damaged oh engine on fire uh, hatch open crew dead it's gone <laughs> oh lordy she's gone yep yeah, bye 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 for good for that one um yeah there's like no russian soldiers left alive here i think we are gonna go ahead and call this a chairman victory um, 100 artillery pieces turns out to be a tall order for for an army to defeat. That is just brutality. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna say goodbye to this battlefield, uh, but maybe we'll return to it someday soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy this video. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below what other weapons you'd like to see in place on these trenches. I, I'd be I'd be interested to see what you guys want to see out of this. Either way, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.